Or so we just pulled out of our little area down below and uh, we're taking some eggs to get sold. So it's a good month to do that, so we're gonna get a little bit of cashola for this. Uh, not going a whole lot further with the farm as of yet, so we're gonna keep the homesteading going with what we have for now, but uh, winter time's here. Just, yeah, it's here in November, so. So we're gonna sell off some of the products that we have until we can get to the next level of awesomeness. Ooh, shoot, that was close. So we're gonna take care of all that, but uh, also, you know, once spring, fall, whatever, when spring comes back around, we'll start tinkering around that again, so. So we drive through the forest for a little bit here. Nice leisurely drive. So we've got just our bale trailer through the egg pallets on there. So we're going to get those bad boys. So, oh, yeah. Pretty stupid. Too bad. It. Get some money for these. Uh, some milk. So we have to wait about a month or so before we have a couple other options, too. But, yeah, we're, we're, we're getting these things... Trying to make some uh, some production going on here. Uh, I think milk and wool will can do December or January. I look at it again, and, and the parsnips. Pretty sure they were December, but uh, yeah, <laughs> we're living the dream or something. Whoa, boink! Right when I say that, we crash. Boom, bam. <laughs> Let's take a look and see if we get out of here. Uh, that's how the Jeeps are, man. They're tough as a rock. Wait, that's actually Chevy, huh? Like a rock. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yeah. That thing is hard like a... Oh, what? <laughs> no, it's good. <clears throat> so, yeah, did great. Sweet. So... Coming down into what we would call town, basically, where the shops are at. Technically. And boy, We'll sell these babies over here. Hey, we got some fresh eggs. Uh, I don't think many of them are cracked, but <laughs> we will find out. Sugar choo choo, here we go. Had to make sure it fit all the way on there. Ooh. First few times I heard it click, click, click. What the heck is that? But I didn't realize it was just the straps clicking on the wall. <laughs> or the, the thing. 44,200, 44, almost 300 something. Not bad. Not bad at all for our first egg harvest. So that's pretty good. Um, again, we got so the eggs we just sold. We got some milk here, but that's uh, January. We can wait until January on that. Uh, wool, same thing. Yeah, wool, not until April, man. We got ways to go on the wool. But so January for the milk. Let's go check the parsnips real quick here. Now, of course, we can actually put some productions in here and get that going, but we're not there yet. So we'll just take a look at these. Okay, so. Sorry, carrots. Boy, what am I thinking? We can sell them in December. We get a good good piece for those. So that's not bad. I mean, we could wait all the way till June, but uh, we might get to take care of those. So let's see what we're gonna do. But uh, we're gonna take this on back. Oh yeah, we could pull this back up. Uh, 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 I forgot to do that with the eggs, man. We had straps on there, but dang, those would have been just that much more better. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and get back to the farm. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pretty much wait until milk time. Uh, might do some mowing real quick before it gets to snow and we have some extra hay because we don't have much left. And hey, you know, hey, we can mow. <laughs> anyway, we're going to go ahead and take care of that and uh, we'll see you all in just a little bit. Well, as you can see now, we have the carrots. I thought they said December, which was weird. So I went to December and I uh, looked at the thing and I'm like, nope, they actually show January. So carrots and milk. We'll sell off today. I mean, we could wait a little bit longer to get some more price, but we got 175,000 liters of them. We want to go ahead and get these babies sold off. Especially in wintertime. It's a good time to sell things, make some money, and uh, as you can see, we had snow coming down. Uh, of course, this trailer doesn't have a cover, so I'm trying to hurry up and get them there as fast as we can. Now, there'll be moist carrots. That'll be good. Who doesn't like a moist carrot, right? <laughs> but anyway, we, we want to get them there before they get too squishy. And then they get nibbled on. <laughs> 
Anyway, so yeah, just working on getting these guys sold. So, uh, eggs are sold. We're getting the carrots done now. We'll get the milk taken care of, and then uh, we should be moving on to harvest time from that point. Uh, well, we have to get through the winter, of course, obviously. So, January, or February, March. Yeah, we're going to get close. Uh, we got enough hay right now for the animals, so we got to get through the winter time. We'll be able to get more of that, too. But other part of that is also we need to get um, some more grass mode and then also get some grain for the chickens because they are about out. Oh, look how fast those are going. Wow. Sputter, sput, sput, sputter, sput. Carrot juice. That's another thing we should be able to make. Carrot juice. That'd be a good idea. 29,000. Not as much as the eggs, but we had quite a bit more, though, too, so that's a good thing. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get back at the milk. And then, like I said, I think. What? This went out really wide. This trailer's a little bit longer than I thought it was. Um, with the milk. Oh, sorry. Um. We're in January. So, okay, we can't go to who? Hold a second here. We are. Is that barley or wheat? Barley, yeah, okay, cool. So we did do the barley, it's just good. So barley we can harvest in June. So we got a few months to go, yeah, we're in January. Yeah, we got a little ways to go. We get some more. I might have to buy some more for the. Cows are okay. We just dumped a bunch of stuff there, but we're gonna sell the milk off too. So then, uh, of course, hay for there. Wool we can sell off. And, ooh, got more. So we got more cows a little bit ago, and now we have some more sheep too. Just happened. Yeah. All right. Chickens. Yeah, we still got enough food for them for a little while, so that might be good. We'll take care of that. See what we're gonna do. But we want to go ahead and oh, we could turn that off. That'd be a great idea. There's nothing in there, no need to keep it going. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't think about it. We could do TMR. Hmm. I got some silage with some hay in there, and boom, we got some tar. Tar. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, so other than that, I think we might turn looking into possibly actually doing some, con some, some construction. Yes, but making some productions from construction. Constructing some productions. So that 10 times real fast. <laughs> and with that. We'll be able to get more money out of the stuff and then expand quicker. But we don't want to get production too close to the home because that'll just be noisy and polluted and blah, blah, blah. But we'll, we'll figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and head back. I'm going to get that milk done and now we'll move on through the winter here and see where we're at the next level. Probably get some grass mowed. Get some more hay going and uh, go from that point. Heck, I might just plant the grass fields so we have it. But we'll see. But other than that, uh, we'll see you all in a little bit. Right, we got this harvester down here. We're gonna go ahead and harvest. We got a little bit of green to harvest that for sure. So I did it. Actually, you can kind of see where I I did mow some uh, some mow mow. <laughs> Apparently, planted a little bit in the wrong spot. I don't know how that got up there, but okay. We'll just scoot it up real quick. <laughs> Gotta clean that up because that's kind of funny. But anyway, anywho, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get this field done. So this is where we had the carrots last time. We actually plowed it out, no, plowed, cultivated the whole nine, even ten yards that we call. Everything done. So barley time. So we get barley from here, barley from over there. We'll have extra hopefully because uh, chickens are getting a little low on feed. If we want to keep them rolling, so cows are still doing well. We got plenty of hay right now. Uh, right there, we're getting a little low. Because it's all of the green that we have is all in them. So, milk's doing good. Wool's still doing okay, cool. So, everything else is doing right. But, yeah, everything that we have for greens is in the chicken coop. So, that is that, you know. Good harvest on barley here. So, I think I might try. I don't know. I was going to. I see I might throw a grass field in, but honestly, it's not necessary if we just keep mowing that same area up there. Just 
I got like six bales off of it, so if I can get anywhere from five to six bales or whatever every couple months or so, I think we'll be fine for the time being. If we start getting to the point where we need more, then I'll I might just throw one of these fields up right there, especially since between the two animals that need the grass or the hay, or whatever. And go from there. But uh other than that, yeah, this is gonna be pulled out. We need to work on getting down further. Get it on down to <laughs> but everything's going along really well, although all of our fields, our crops are down in the valleys here, which keeps all the moisture. That should be nice and fresh and clean. Fresh and clean. Oh, anyway. And the animals are up. I mean, like, these guys come down a little bit, so they get a little more water. Cows a little bit as well, but as we get more animals, we might just, uh... Oh, I think if we get more animals, that's a good question. I might not do that. May put a horse stable, depending on maybe up in front there, so we could get a horse and just ride around. Check on all the animals to put the horses and then do a quick feed because if we have feed in there, you know, hey, kind of cool. <laughs> Pretty nifty idea. Just throw some hay bales in there and hay bales over there. And ride a horse down, jump off, push the bales in as needed, and move on with our day instead of driving on there all the time. But either way, not too shabby though. Not too shabby at all. So this is coming along well. Got. We got a couple of crop fields going on already, so we're already getting moving. I uh, already got this little homestead area done, so we do need, want to get the rest of these uh, trees, all the dead ones, out of here. So we're going to work on those some more. Uh, I'm not sure if we want to go up that way or go down further. So we're okay right now, but if we go down that way further, we might be able to start. I might just start doing that. Think about it, because it gets some productions in there. We get some uh, grain mill. We have a. Uh, some grains and whatnot going on, make some bread and whatnot. Just a little stuff that we'll add into it, you know. Uh, maybe make some cakes. That's not a bad idea. I haven't made a cake in a while. Or a cereal or something. Yeah, we got plenty of stuff we can work with, so we'll, we'll look into that. But other than that, we're just going to keep on harvesting here, get all this picked up, and move on to the next step in our evolution. <laughs> or the homestead, I should say. The homestead evolution. Um, as the homestead moves along, I guess we're actually kind of more of a ranch now. But well, we're out in the middle of nowhere, so that's kind of kind of nice. I mean, there's a town literally over the mountain range there, but there's no direct access. You have to hike over there or drive up and around, but that's yeah, fine. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting this done, and uh, we're going to go from that point. But don't forget to like, subscribe, say hello, living how you do, what's going on in your world. Hope you have a great day, morning, night, evening, whatever you got going on while you're watching. Appreciate everybody very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and we'll catch you next time. Again, take care, and uh, don't don't forget, you're all awesome. And we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.